Hello and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Over the past few months, I've been purchasing Clear Jelly Stamper products from two different UK stockists of Clear Jelly Stamper. 11 stamping polishes and a new stamper. So in this video, I'll be swatching and reviewing all 11 stamping polishes as I normally do. And I'll be showing you some of the other products that I've purchased as well. As always, you can find the information on where I purchased from in the description box below. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification on and please like this video. These things really do help out my channel. Thank you. So here is some of the items I've purchased. I did also purchase 18 Clear Jelly Stamper stamping plates, but they will all have their own videos. Now you can find time stamps in the description box below if you want to jump to a stamping polish that you want to see you can do. So I'll start with the Clear Jelly Stamper Polish Thinner. It's always good to have something like this because Clear Jelly Stamper polishes are super pigmented and they can thicken over time. Now I've not used this as yet and I didn't use it in the video. I do need to hunt out the polishes that need this. Now over the last few months I've been using the Clear Jelly Stamper sticky pads but I have been unable to until now purchase the holder for them. So I now have this and I really do like these sticky pads. A lint roller does just the same but these are serious space saving and I love that. I'm very limited on space so these work really well for me and I will be using it in the video but I'll be using my old ones before I start a brand new one in the holder. Next the new stamper, now I love clear jelly stampers, they are amazing and this is the new Little Miss Bling stamper. So I will show a comparison next to the Big Bling stamper. All clear jelly stamper stampers do come with a scraper. I don't tend to use them, but they are still very good. The Little Miss Bling stamper is half the height of the Big Bling stamper. And when they are side by side, you can really see that. I've not had a clear jelly stamper stamper not work straight out of the box. They are just brilliant. Now, I will be honest, when I first took the stamper, apart I was like yeah this isn't going to work well with my long nails it sort of didn't feel comfortable in my hands so I was really worried I wouldn't get on with it but it is a super sweet stamper though and I will also put them back together again so you can see them back together Apart from me being concerned that my nails are going to get in the way when stamping, I'm excited to try another new clear jelly stamper because I just love them. Now when I get a new stamper, all I do is either use the sticky pads or lint roller and remove any of what I call traveling dirt from the stamper and I do this top and bottom and sometimes around the sides as well just to make it super clean now I've never ever taken a nail file or acetone to these stampers it will destroy them now I know that clear jelly stamper stampers are expensive but they work straight out of the box for me whereas cheaper ones I've always had to do sort of extra things to get them working now you would have also seen that I have three of the sticky stamping polishes. To be honest, I've had not much luck with them. I really do need to have a big play day with them because I just cannot get them to work properly right now. When I do get them working, or if I come across things, I will obviously make their own video. So I will be using the Little Miss Bling for all of the swatches in this video. Now, because I have 11 stamping polishes to get through, I'm not going to go through each colour to show that polish. That will be in the corner, but I will be swatching each colour over black and white and then three other colours for each of the polishes. I'll also be using, as I always do, Clear Jelly Stamper CJS C14 Diamonds in Ice for the stamping plate and I always use this image on the side. I do also want to say this is the second time I filmed this video. When it went to my editor, the footage was unusable, so I had to clean all of the pop sticks and refilm. Now, because of this, I think five of the pop sticks changed color, and I'll talk about that when I get to them. Starting with 107 Ice Gray, this is a pastel gray that to me has a slight beige look to it. I've wanted this stamping polish in my collection since it came out but this was the first time that it had been available in the UK. 
Now I've purchased, as I said, from two different stockists and the links to both are in the description box below. Now somewhere on camera, you will see picture swatches of each stamping polish. They will obviously be over on my Instagram page as well. And there'll be probably a lot more that you see over there that don't appear in this video. Now over white, it has that peekaboo effect, almost white on white effect. It really is quite hard to see and probably a color combo that i wouldn't use it would however be great for marking out layered stamping over the black it does look great it hasn't changed color which is brilliant and this is a good color combo for halloween nails now the other three colors i've chosen are dark gray red and blue and they all look great the stamping really does show up nice over the red it has gone a little bit on the pink side so that is something to note from that swatch so i would just say be careful on what base colors you use as it can affect the stamping color you could team 107 ice gray alongside 15 stone cold and 42 slate gray for layering as well as 01 more like 1am which is the black Greys are a great staple colour to have in a collection because they work all year round and it will work alongside a lot of other colours as well. Next is 123 Reflection and this is a gorgeous golden cream shimmer. It's absolutely stunning and will be very popular for me to use. I'm not a fan of bright golds and this just fits me so well into that super soft gold that i prefer to use you will see as we go through the swatches the new stamper that i get a bit more comfortable in holding it and that's why some of the swatches aren't my usual however after having to refilm this video i'm definitely getting more used to it over white it looks amazing this will be a fantastic bridal color combo to use it would also look amazing with a black outline image layered over the top as well over the black for me this is a winner i love black and gold nails and this golden cream shimmer just looks amazing in some of the swatches it can be seen that some of the lights look a little bit on the rose gold side but it is still beautiful the other three colors i've chosen is a red a berry purple and a green now because this is a golden cream it's going to work over so many different color combos these three however are so beautiful i love personally the purple and the green i would like to try it over a dark blue to see how that looks for me, this color is going to be used a lot in the winter over dark base colors. I can imagine that you will be seeing this color a lot in my stamping plate videos. You could team 123 Reflection with 01 more like 1am, which obviously is the black, but you could also team it with 23 Pure Cocoa, which is a dark brown, as well as other dark browns like 112 Truffle, or 113 espresso as an outline for layering that again would look amazing and something different especially if you're not a fan of using black for your outlines next we have 124 snakes in the grass and this is an absolutely gorgeous earthy shimmery green and i'm really excited about this stamping polish now you might have also noticed that the last few videos i've had a white mat on my desk and that's also from clear jelly stamper as well it's the leslie mat i actually really thought it would be a lot bigger than what it actually is but it's lovely to work on it should have been added into this video but i was super excited about it that i wanted to start using it right away and it is working really well for me over white it looks gorgeous very pretty and you can really see that earthy tone to it over black it has gone a slight bit darker but it's still an amazing color combo and one i would definitely wear if this was top coated with a glossy top coat it would really make that shimmer stand out so nice on the nails not sure if i would do a matte because matte can make shimmer look a little bit weird 
but it is definitely worth a try though. The other colours I've chosen are mint green, a yellow and a khaki green. Now the mint green and the yellow, I really liked how these look. They look lovely. Now the khaki green was the first pop stick I changed when I refilmed this video. It was originally a dark forest green, but it really didn't work very well as I had hoped. However, the khaki green with the stamping polish, I absolutely adore how it looks. It's definitely a winner for me. You could team 124 snakes in a grass with 69 April showers and 87 enlightenment by using snakes as a grass again as an outline. To really see this though it would have to probably go over a very pale base colour like a white or a vintage white or ivory but again though you could outline snakes in the grass with 01 more like 1am the black. Next we have 125 Love Bite and this is a gorgeous spicy shimmery red. Now in the shimmer there is this ready pink and blue flecks of glitter in there but they didn't really pick up on the camera which is a shame. I have taken some real close up pictures to show the glitter but this is definitely one of them to see the effect you need to see the polish in person and that's mainly because of it being super fine shimmer it is however absolutely gorgeous i did think that 125 love bite reminded me of 63 scarlet letter but they are very different especially with the shimmer and glitter in them now over the white the swatch didn't pick up a hundred percent and i'm putting that down to me and the stamper because all of the others came out fine now it does come across a little on the pink side but it is still a really nice color combo now over the black yeah i knew that wasn't going to work without a shadow of a doubt personally i've never had a red stamp over black but i do still like to include them in these swatches so you can see them so you don't have to do them the other colors i've chosen were peach yellow and coral and they all look fab it would also work over oranges and pinks as well they will definitely be color combos that i do for manis and stamping plate swatches as well i love stamping in red and i have a lot of different yellows oranges pinks corals and peachy colors that are going to work together with 125 love bite so just to give some other stamping polishes that 125 love bite will work with and that's 01 more like 1am 008 you are my sunshine which is a yellow 022 which is clementine that's an orange 071 flirty flamingo that's a pink and 081 vintage coral which is obviously a coral and that is just to name a few i love layering oranges reds and yellows together especially for floral manis they look amazing next we have 126 pixie dust and this is a sheer golden flex stamping polish now in the bottle it looks amazing however as you'll see with these swatches it didn't go very well at all and i do really need to have a play around with 126 pixie dust because i was very disappointed with the swatches i filmed in the first video i did top coat them because i thought it might help them stand out a little bit better but it didn't so over the white, I do promise that it is there, but it looks like the stamping hasn't taken at all in person. It is very faint on the pop stick. It does sort of have a bridal feel to it, but it just is not a color combo that I would use again. Now over the black, you can sort of see, I did wonder if the image that I'm using is what's making it harder to see. So a thick lined image might work better. It's just that I always use this image for my stamping swatches and that's never gonna change. Now with these three colour swatches, I changed every one of them. I originally did a burgundy, a blue and a green, but I changed them to a pink, a dark blue and a turquoise. Now just like the black, you can just about see them again. I do think a thicker line might have been better. So I have taken some pictures of them at a different angle to show you that the stamping actually is there, but I do think a thicker line is the way to go with this polish. I'll be honest, I'm very disappointed with these swatches, even with the color changes. Like I said, I do want to have a play around, maybe try some lighter colors, maybe that might help than the ones that I've chosen. There isn't many stamping polishes from Clear Jelly Stamper that have disappointed me. I think there's like three. How much use I will get out of 126 Pixie Dust, I honestly do not know. 
Next we have 127 Babies Got Blue Eyes and this is a pale but bright blue colour. Now I did think it reminded me a little of 07 CJS's PJs. I do now think that 127 Babies Got Blue Eyes is slightly more brighter than 07 CJS PJs but it's always good to have a lot of different shades of colour and that's something that I look for not only in stamping polishes but my gel polishes as well. Over the white you can see the stamping I thought it might be a little bit brighter over the white not sure if I would use this as a colour combo in the future but it does make a great start for layering stamping. Over the black I was surprised it worked to be honest the black has made it seem a little bolder in colour don't think I've ever used a color combo like this but it is great to know that it is available to me the other colors I've chosen for the color swatches are a medium blue a dark blue and a pink now I love how the light blue looks it's subtle but it's gorgeous it sort of gives that barely there look the dark blue looks fab now the pink I do do pinks and blues together but I honestly don't think I will with 127 Babies Got Blue Eyes. I'm not a fan of how it looks. I maybe should have changed this one. Other colours which could be used alongside 127 Babies Got Blue Eyes are 013 Pirate Storm, which is my most favourite dark blue to use, as well as 032 Blue Right On By, which is a rich shimmery dark blue, and then 052 Jazz Knot Blues, which is another shade of a shimmery dark blue. So there's plenty of options options for layering as well. Next we have 128 Royal Dazzle which is a royal blue shimmery stamping polish. Now the shimmer you can really hardly see it. I would have liked it to have been a little bit more standing out because 128 Royal Dazzles to me looks so close to 013 Pirate Storm. Again I've taken some pictures of the colour swatch so you can hopefully see the shimmer but it is really quite hard to pick it up on camera and I also can't see it on the stamping either so a little bit disappointing on the shimmery side. Over the white it's nice, it's nice and bold. I don't think I create a lot of stamping plate swatches or manis with a colour combo like this. However, I do see this as a colour combo for snowflakes in the winter months. Over black, now I honestly thought you wouldn't be able to see it. However, you can see it, it's definitely there. It's not really a colour combo I would use, but again, it's nice knowing that it does sort of work. Now the other colours I've chosen for the colour swatches are two different shades of blue, a light and a medium shade, and then a pinky purple, and they all work beautifully. I think dark blues are another staple for any stamping polish collection because they can work all year round and you can also make use of them with outline for layering stamping. I can honestly see me using 128 Royal Dazzles as much as I use 013 Pirate Storm. So some of the other colours that would work with layering stamping with 128 Royal Dazzles are 07 CJ's PJ's, 127 Baby's Got Blue Eyes, so the stamping polish I just showed, 073 Bluebell, 080 Vintage Denim. There are a lot of other blues that it could also work alongside as well. This is a gorgeous blue. I really just wish the shimmer was more pronounced. Now the next four I'm about to show are from the collection Simply Sheer. I was on the fence when I was looking at this collection of should I get it or not, but in the end I did. This is a collection of four stamping polishes that we already have in the CJS collection, but they are sheer. Now I personally wouldn't call them sheer though, but they are still some beautiful colours. So the first is 129 Kapink and this is a sheer pink. It does have a sort of coral undertone to it. Now the original is 06 Kapink. Now I do use 06 Kapink, the original for swatches and manis quite a bit to be fair. It's a really nice colour to use. Now I have taken from my Instagram page the original group pictures that I created for each of these sheer stamping polishes. So you can see the difference between the two. So over the white it's really pretty it sort of gives that real soft baby pink feel perfect for bridal nails or spring florals i do really like this i thought it might have been a little bit paler than this and that's why i don't really see these as sheer now over black i'm not a fan at all you can see it however which i was really surprised at to be fair 
the other three colors which I chose for these color swatches are a yellow, a peach, and a pink. And to be honest, I really like them. If you're not into bold pinks, then this is one for you because it's just so pretty over all of them. Now, I have to be honest, I don't know how much I will use the sheer polishes, but when the white and the color swatches look like this, it could be a bit, to be fair we shall see now the other colors in which you could use them this would take the sheerness away but obviously you could use a dark pink 029 chloe would work 050 pretty me pink it would also be interesting to layer 06 kapink with 129 kapink and see how that looks maybe i do need to have a really good play around with some color combos but such pretty color and swatches Next we have 130 Berry Slushy and this is a sheer berry colour. Now the original was 086 Berry Slushy and that is a coral berry colour as the website states. It is a beautiful colour, perfect for spring and summer nails. I did wonder how this would look over the colours because it is much paler in colour than the last one. Over the white you can just about see it. Very pale again, definitely bridal nails would work really well. Now over the black I just knew this wouldn't work you can sort of see it if you look at the white and the black picture together it does make it seem a bit more seeable 130 berry slushies gives that nail the black and grey damask look which I have to be honest I love it if I was using this for a mani I would probably keep this matte the other three colors I've chosen for the color swatches are peach yellow and pink now all of them of the three you can see them but they are very sheer and obviously that's what the look of the stamping polishes are again if you prefer a subtle look to your money then this collection would really be for you now if i'm honest i'm not sure i would lay a 130 berry slushy just because it's so sheer however saying that again would be interesting to see a 086 berry slushy and 130 berry slushy would look like layered together now i will also say i'm not sure how much i will get used from this stamping polish to be fair again just because it's so sheer but we shall see in time it might be something that i really like doing next we have 131 pickled beet and this is a sheer ready purple now the original is 091 pickled beet and probably one of my most favorite dark purple stamping polishes to use i use it all the time so i was intrigued to see how 131 pickled beet was going to be and just like its original it is such a pretty color and i've got a feeling i could be using it just as much as the original over the white it looks really good it's definitely not as bold as the original but it still stands out well over the white now i knew this wouldn't stamp over the black because the original didn't now even though it doesn't work over the black i do still really like to show these anyway just so that you can see what they do look like the other three colors i've chosen for the color swatches are pink purple and a blue and they all work really well i can really see me using it just as much as 091 pickled beet i use it over pinks and purples all the time and it's probably my favorite color combo to use so i can see this being in manis and stamping plate videos a lot for the other colours to team with layering again, I would love to see 131 Pickled Beet and 091 Pickled Beet layered together as well as 016 Shiraz and 048 Sparkling Grape, two other purples that I use a lot. And also N07 Prince's Purple Rain, which is neon. I can't wait to try 131 Pickled Beat in some upcoming stamping plate video swatches and definitely some manis as well. It's perfect for spring and summer florals or pattern designed manis. Next we have 132 Linny Loves Lavender and this is a sheer lavender. Its original is 017 Linny Loves Lavender and that's a super pigmented lavender colour and to be honest one I don't use a lot of and I should because it's an absolutely gorgeous shade of lavender. Now even though I was on the fence with getting these sheer polishes they are interesting and I'm glad that I do have them because they offer different manis like more subtle manis which I definitely want to try. Over the white you can see it, it is very pale but still really good nice colour combo for spring nails. Obviously these sheer polishes won't be everyone's cup of tea. Over the black again it gives that black grey damask look to it and out of the two blacks that 
look like this i do prefer the first one 130 berry slushy just because it shows more than 132 Linny loves lavender the other colors i've chosen for the color swatches are lilac pink and blue and you can see them they give that barely there look to them very pretty even for the sheer look again just like the first three if you're not a fan of bold colors then this collection is definitely for you i do however wonder how many other colors i have in which i can use as bases for this whole collection and again just like the first three i would like to see 132 linny loves lavender layered with 017 linny loves lavender i'm not sure what other colors i would layer with maybe 016 shiraz or 078 vintage lavender i do really need to spend a lot more time with these four from the simply sheer collection to work out some color combos and i have plenty of plates to be doing this with so what do you think of all these stamping polishes from clear jelly stamper is there a favorite for you also Clear Jelly Stamper recently released 25 new stamping polishes and I have 23 of them here that I've purchased from Clear Jelly Stamper in Canada for the very first time. So you'll be seeing them soon and I honestly can't wait. I know that there are other brands on the market for stamping polishes but I just really like Clear Jelly Stamper for my stamping polishes and stamper. All of my swatches will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days along with some videos as well. There is a link in the description box below. If you do come over and see my posts and you like them please give them a like as well. I'd be really grateful. Thank you for viewing my swatch review on my Clear Jelly Stamper stamping haul and swatches. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did then please give me a thumbs up. I I'd really appreciate it comment below i love to hear from you hit that subscribe button and share also don't forget to come over and follow me on my instagram page at glittershine nails so until next time happy stamping and bye